Let's compare the two best digital nomad visa in Southeast Asia, uh, the one in Indonesia and the one in Thailand. In Indonesia, it's called Remote Worker Visa, also called E33G. And in Thailand, it's called DTV, also called Destination Thailand Visa. Okay, let's have a look. First, uh, the duration for the one in Indonesia, it's one year. Uh, renewable, uh, it will be renewable for two years or for five years, but at, uh, at the beginning it's only one year. Whereas for the DTV it's uh, five years. So um, the Thailand looks a little bit better for that criteria, but uh, there is a re-entry requirement for the one in Thailand. Actually uh, with the DTV you need to uh, get out of Thailand every six, six months, whereas for Indonesia you don't need to leave Indonesia at all. You can stay in Bali like me uh, forever without having the requirement to leave the country at any point of time. Uh, next, uh, do you have the right to work, work remotely? Um, yes, in both cases you can work remotely. You cannot work locally, you cannot work in Indonesia, you cannot work in Thailand, uh, so you cannot work in the country, but you can work for any company abroad. So that's, uh, that's perfect for all digital nomads who work uh, remotely. Uh, is it easy to get? From uh, my experience, the one in Indonesia is quite easy to get, and uh, the one in, in, uh, um, for the DTV for Thailand, it's a bit uh, more tricky. But uh, finally, we all get it, but it's not, uh, it's not that easy. They keep asking questions, there are different waves of questions, whereas for uh, Indonesia, you can get it uh, just by providing the information they ask at the beginning. From where to apply, this is uh, be careful, because for uh, Thailand, uh, you can apply online, but they may request you to be uh, at, in your hometown when you apply so uh, ensure that you are still in your hometown country when you apply so uh, be, ca be careful with that for uh, the the one in indonesia you don't need to be in your hometown you can be anywhere it's uh, the process is fully online time to get uh, the visa uh, the uh, the one in indonesia it's quite easy to get uh, you get it fast uh, i got it within uh, less than two weeks i think 10 days uh, whereas for Thailand, it might, it might take up to one month, one month and a half to, uh, to get it. The requirements are not the same. Um, the requirements for the one in Indonesia, uh, actually, uh, you need to uh, show uh, proof of uh, salary, of income, of dividend, of uh, profit distribution, uh, whatever income you, 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 you get, it should be like more than $60,000 a year so they will check that with your bank statements and uh, so it's still uh, uh, um, a certain amount of money and it will not all digital nobel would quali would qualify for uh, $60,000 uh, whereas for uh, the DTV there is no such uh, requirement uh, they just check that you have around uh, $13,000 uh, in your bank account so, but still they will ask uh, the pay slips they will have a proof of salary, they will have bank, they will ask for bank statements. And in, in, uh, for the DTV, they will ask also uh, maybe your website, maybe your YouTube channel. They need to understand what you are actually doing. Whereas for uh, in, in Indonesia, they, they are not investigating further. They don't dig into much. And then, uh, okay. <coughs> Validity. So uh, one year renewable for the, uh, for, the, for the one in Indonesia and five years for the DTV. Multiple entry, you can, in both cases, you can uh, leave the country and come back with your, uh, with your visa uh, without any problem, so that's, uh, that's good. And both are eligible for the tax residency as long as you stay uh, more than six months in uh, each country. That's it guys, tell me which one do you prefer, tell me uh, your feedback also in, uh, in the comments if you uh, applied for one or the other visa. I wish you a very happy day, bye bye.